Hi everyone! Well, in this episode, I'll be sharing my tutorial on how to achieve this nice clean look with nice or fluttery eyes and how to cover up your dark and red blemishes while staying on the budget. Please do excuse my voice as I am recently not feeling well, so my voice is raspier than usual. I always get asked by my friends if I can recommend any makeup brands that they can buy locally from the Philippine drugstore. And I always recommend uh, Every Belena, Intuit, Michido, or Kikorio. And in regards to how to make my pimples or blemishes go away faster is that I always tell everyone who you know wants to know is that avoid picking on your pimples stop touching them I know you all get worried about how you look and you just want to make it go away faster but touching it picking in it won't make it go away faster it can get infected it can leave you know like scarring on the tissue and it just it just you know it will just make it worse so just don't like you know like pick on it and also don't moisturize your face as much as possible I mean I religiously moisturize day and night and especially on winter times where you know I have like dry skin I can't avoid you know moisturizing I just try to avoid the affected area altogether but if you can skip it skip it and um, if I have to use like a certain type of um, like cream for it, I would use Tanaxil Benzoyl Peroxide 5% and depending on this, you know, the severity of your acne problem, you might have to go, you know, with the 3% or the 10%. So, yeah, if you have to like do a skin test do so before doing it on your own or as much as possible you consult a professional for you know your skin problem and um, yeah this uh, tutorial is inspired by my friends who wants to stay on a budget but still want to look as awesome as they can be even with the blemishes and bump on their skin Alright, so let's proceed with my tutorial. As you can see, this is how I look without any makeup on. Uh, I have a little bit of a dark baggy eyes. And you can see imperfections in my skin and my breakouts too. I can actually prevent my skin from breaking out that much if I don't eat too much chips or junk foods. Except there are times that... I want to indulge my cravings so this is what happens so first let me get my hair out of the way and the first product that I'm gonna use is called Kukor You Summer Cake and I got mine from HVC or Hortalesa and the packaging looks like this and if they're not available in HBC or Hortalesa, you can try to get them at Watson's. The color that I'm going to be using or shade would be Jade. And the other one is Amber Rose. So Jade is greenish in color, which will conceal all the blemishes on your skin. And make sure to cover up the bags under your eyes. They're going to be a lot more greeny than the rest of your face, but that's fine. We'll take care of that later. Proceeding to the next one, which is the Amber Rose. A little bit peachy in color. Which will fix up this, you know, mm -hmm. look like this. You see the difference? It looks like my natural color again. Of 
Okay, so my um, foundation had already set. So I'm going to proceed with Ever Belena Makeup Stick. Oh, and excuse the different shade on my nails. I was trying to swatch some new nail polish that I got. Okay, I'm going to dab on it. And I'm going to put them on my red blemish. There's still going to be a, you know, a bump in there, but hey, it actually covers up the, you know, reddish mark. You could barely see my, my eyebrows, so I actually have to apply some to define them. Sometimes I try to do this from the ends of my eyebrow. So it actually leaves like a little bit of a shadow line that contours towards my nose. And I'm gonna use Michido. Every Belena red lipstick, which is the matte version, but since it's too red, I wanna tone it down and I wanna stay with a little bit of um, pinkish color. So I'm gonna proceed using two items from Every Belena, which is the makeup stick again and the red lipstick. So first, I'm going to dab a little bit of the makeup stick, makeup stick on my lips. And this is also how I achieve my nude lipstick look and I just apply you know, like much more of the makeup stick and add on lip gloss over it. And as you can see, it's pinkish. But normally, this lipstick would actually be like this strong. I'm gonna use an eyelashes or maybe I'll use the thick version. Yeah. I'm gonna use the thick version. So I'm gonna cut it up. I mean, this is a whole one. And I'm just gonna cut it mm -hmm. like I only got two pieces of it. Okay. The smaller end, I'm gonna put that on the inner side of my eye. As you can see, I have nice fluttery eyes or eyelashes. Cute, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty much set. And I only use one eyelash for that. So I can just put my hair down. Alright. And all of the cosmetics that I have used are very affordable. Starts with the Kokoyu Summer Cake, which is um, 20 pesos. And 
for um, what do you call this exfoliating my skin to make sure that my pimples or whatever blemishes I have would dry up fast I would use Kojic soap which is 50 pesos the Everbelena um, makeup stick it would cost about 120 pesos for a whole stick like this but it would last you like a long time the lipstick would be less than 100 pesos. I really forgot how much I got it for. And uh, tomato blush on from Michido, which I also got from Watson's, is 88 pesos. So pretty much you're all under the budget. Not like you're going to be using them for a one-time use. So just invest on these makeup items and makeup products and you're pretty much good to go. without spending too much. Alright, so thank you for watching!